This is tips on how to remove and install your EI onto your shock. First you want to take a 5 64th Allen and set the adjuster to full stiff. Then you want to take a 50 thousandths Allen to remove the set screw from the pinwheel. Then, on the side of your eye, you want to take a 564 Allen to remove the set screw. Once you remove that, there is a spring and a ball inside that you would like to hit out. Once removed, take a 3 quarter inch wrench to take the jam nut loose. After taking the jam nut loose, you want to turn the jam nut all the way to the bottom. Then you can turn the eye off, making sure the pinwheel doesn't move. This is how you remove an EI from your shock. To install your EI onto your shock, you want to screw the eye onto the shock until it stops. Then you want to wiggle the pinwheel until it lines up with the shock needle while turning the eye down. Once onto the needle, turn eye down making sure the pinwheel doesn't spin. You want to turn the eye all the way down until it stops again, and then back the eye off one complete turn. Then you want to tighten the jam nut making sure one of the holes on the pinwheel lines up with full stiff. You may have to wiggle your jam nut a little to do this. With a 50 thousandths Allen, you want to install the set screw into the pinwheel hole that is at full stiff. With a 564 Allen, you want to install the ball, the spring, then the set screw until it is flush with the side of the eye. Then you want to make sure that your eye goes to full soft and full stiff. This is how to install an EI onto your shock.